what about Marjorie Taylor Green? Marjorie Trader Green. Uh, that's what you've been calling her, Laura. Um, you we know, got Loomer, big time. You know, Alex Stein messaged me earlier today, and he wanted to talk to you on the kill stream uh, at some point. Uh, yeah, and he's like, "Oh, Laura Loomer spreading the rumors." I'm just, I'm just forwarding screenshots. Like, I don't really give a, I don't really care about who he's having sex with. But you know, it's like he those said are he did. So is he, he said is he, he trying to deny that like those are his real screenshots where he said that like she doesn't have a pretty face, but she's a freak in bed. That is what the screenshot said. He said that he did not um, partake. But why would you? Why would you put something like that in writing? I don't know. Look, I can't speak to the provenance of the of the of the screen cap like if you, or what. If you didn't, if you didn't have sex with someone, why would you post in writing and be like, "Oh yeah, like we had sex," and like you know, this wasn't the first time either that she cheated on her husband. And yeah, her face. She's a real butter face, but she's a freak. Let me tell you, like. Who I mean, do we know that? I mean, did we see him send that? I don't know. Maybe that was. Who knows? Maybe that was cooked up. I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. If who's you zoom it. in on the photo. It looks like his telegram and his photo. Nah, that's, I trust Yoba on that one for sure. Is that where it's supposed to come, have come from, Yoba? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Like, well, I forwarded it. I forwarded it from. I'm just saying. He said he didn't do it. I don't have to. You know, if it's dubious, I'll let you guys litigate. But uh, he he claimed that he did not smash. The congresswoman. Um, but what do you think about her in general? No, but you're like, you're leaving a big part out. Don't okay. run cover for Alex. I'm not. She I'm said, letting you talk. I'm letting said, you say whatever. He said, oh, I didn't have sex with her, but I would if I could because I'm a pimp on a blimp and all the ladies want to take a ride. That's what he said. Now, what? Now wait, I didn't see that one. The one I saw was he said. Look at his, look at the video. Oh, look I didn't at the see video that. where he was like. Oh, Laura Loomer. He went on Timcast and was like calling me out. Oh, see, I didn't see that actually. I saw the screen cap that you posted, um, and he was in that screen cap, and it said, um, "She's." Hey, do me a not, favor. Post on your post at, on but... your channel that I'm on, and I'll share it on my channel right now because it's not letting me type. Oh, you already did. Okay. Yeah, I did. It's right not letting there. me share. Yeah, share that right there. Um, I can't use both at the same time. But, uh, yeah, where is, I'll see if I can find that clip. It's uh, on my Telegram. Hold okay. On, I'm going to share it to you. Okay, okay. I'll All send right. it to you. I was like, oh, Okay, yeah, just done. send it to me and I'll, and I'll pull that up. Laura Loomer, I want to shout her out. So she's spreading this thing in Telegram today that Marjorie Taylor Greene and I had a sexual affair. All right, I just sent it to you. Laura Loomer, I want to shout her out. He's like, Laura Loomer. Let's see. So somebody messaged me and says there's a very high chance that was a Jesse BS scam, that account. Um, yeah, that's kind of what um, – I, I don't know. I'm not uh, – I'm not – is Yo I, I don't know. I have to talk to Yobo about it um, and, like, what the – like, who messaged him and all that. I don't know either way. It was on his show. I mean, I can, I can confirm it. Have you yeah. seen it? I posted well, cause it I have on – yeah, go ahead. But, like, you're saying that you have to talk to him. There's video, Ralph. Like, I literally posted Wait! the video. Which video? This this video right here? Okay, hold on. Let me play. There's video of him on his on his show. Like, it, it's from Baked Alaska's own show. Yeah. It was live. Now I have to go okay. back and read all these messages and send it to you. Hold on. This is this is Alex Stein right Laura here. Laura Loomer, I want to shout her out. So she's spreading this thing in Telegram today that Marjorie Taylor Greene and I had a sexual affair. So <laughs> I just want to debunk that. You do? Even though, no, even though Marjorie is a beautiful lady. And, and I'll be honest, I would if I could, but I haven't. So I, I, so I can't. So, you know, that's the, that's the real facts. But I'll be honest, uh, this is the sad reality for... Congresswoman Green. For me, it, even if we did have sex, I'm saying for me to leak it, that would be huge. That'd be great, right? For her, it only you know hurts her. I just would say the God's honest truth. It didn't happen. I'd probably leak it if it did. Is my point. AOC being. would be mad at you. Exactly. So that's why you know it's not true. But I just hate it for her because I just hate it for her because it's just so provably false. And she's the one that looks bad for you know even sleeping with this pile of junk primetime 99. Even though I'm a pimp on a blimp, a lot of ladies want to take a ride. Still, it just makes her look bad because I'm just a you know Joe Blow comedian from Dallas, how, Texas. How is any of this? Right, now, I had not heard that. I didn't hear. Now, where's the Yoba clip? I didn't hear that part either. I've been purposely kind of staying on this. He also, did you see how he said, oh, it's not true that I slept with her, but it's true that she slept with me. Like, did you hear that? How he goes, oh, I just feel bad for her because it makes her look bad for sleeping with me. So he tries to deny it and then he retardedly confirms it. Like, listen to what he's saying. He's basically saying that they had sex. 
Let's see. Uh, I'm looking through. Well, he wants to come on and talk about it. I don't know if it'll be tonight because he's at the Cowboys game, but he wanted to. He he denies that, and I see somebody here saying um, thing he's talking about on his show is from this screenshot. Baked isn't. You need me to find the. Baked you need me to find the baked Alaska clip. I wish Baked would just call in because this person says Baked says is, is he isn't one hundred percent sure if that's time. I'll send it. I'll send it. Hold on. I haven't one actually, second. um, oh. like fully quizzed anybody on it. Let me see. I'll send a message too. Uh, let me see if Baked's here. Here, I just sent it to you. Uh, Zimmerbrain says, "I swear that Jesse P.S. is the source." Okay, let me play this. Here. Okay, hold I on. I just, I just sent you the baked video. Did you get it? Yeah, let me save it so I can pull it up on screen. The uh, oh man, it froze my Telegram. Man, fuck. <laughs> Why Telegram? No. Oh my god. Okay, he's in there. Hold on. Hold on. I have to stop Telegram though for a sec. For some reason, that's not working. Bake's in here. Oh, he's ready to call in. Okay, are you guys he there? Is. Sorry, I I tried to download that and it messed it up. Baked, are you there? Yeah, yeah. I had my hammer. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't see you. I didn't see you, brother. Uh, what's, up? what's up, everybody? What's up, man? Um, so, yeah, no, I definitely would like to clarify. So, um... Okay, here's what happened. So Alex Stein, this me and him had some beef because he was booked on my show twice. Um, you know, I got everything ready, made a you know flyers, promotion, all that, and two different times, like thirty minutes before the show, I'm like, hey, you know, are you ready for sound check? And he's like, oh, sorry, you know, I can't make it. I'm doing this, and I'm with Ann Coulter, I'm with this coal burner, or whatever. You know, so it's like. He's just been a total diva to me, and I, I thought Alex was cool. I, I thought he was funny. Um, I'm not a big fan of his now because of how he's treated me. And then afterwards, then I tried to reschedule again. It's like, dude, if you don't want to do my show, just say no. But uh, he kept saying yes and then wasting my time. I had to, like, you know, I lost money. I had to, like, you know, come up with a new show on the spot. Um, you know, it, you know, booking shows is frustrating. So it is. then I asked him several other times, like, Hey, when do you want to reschedule? And then he just starts ghosting me and he won't answer my texts or calls, even though we, you know, what I went on his podcast a few months ago and he was like, baked, you were one of my inspirations for performance art streaming. And, and like, okay, well, that's not how you treat one of your inspirations, I guess. But anyways, so, um, I was having pod awful on, my Yoba cast as one of the guests. Cause me and him, you know, go way back. Um, and we've been friendly with each other. I know you, you didn't like him and other people didn't like him, but I was like, okay. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> yeah, <here's laughs> yeah. Well, I get it. I maybe go I should have listened, but you know, well, you know everybody's got to make their own. My throat. I had something in my throat. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't hate Jesse or anything, but like, I, I want, you know, in good faith, just want to have a conversation with him. And so I tell him about the Alex Stein thing. And he's like, oh my gosh, he did the same thing to me. And Nick also mentioned that like Alex blew him off. So like several times. So I'm like, oh, okay, well I get, you know, this is not unique to me. I guess he's just an asshole and a diva behind the seat. Now he's got a show on the blaze. You know, hey, good luck with it. But like, stop wasting my time is what I'm trying to say. So honestly, anyways, he did that like, to me too. Not in a, yeah. we ended up getting him on the show, but um, since mm. he blew up, he does have a really wild schedule. Um, so sure. I know we had a couple misses too on getting him on the last time he was on. And he did end up coming on okay, for a whole seriously? hour. But seriously, um, we did I'm have a couple more famous. Misses. I'm more famous than um, Alex Stein, and I've never blown you off. So stop making excuses. Well, I know. I love. No, I mean, you're okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just saying. Let's just stop simping for Alex Stein and get to the like get to the truth of this. Like, did he or did he not bang Bismarck? Okay, well, no, Laura's out for blood today. I'm here for. I love it. I'm I'm looming 120 percent out for blood. Loomer craves blood. I'm a soldier of law. Loomer now. I'm enlisting in the Loomer. <laughs> Go ahead, base. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree. I think people give him way too many excuses. Like, he's pretty new on the scene, right? Like, and he's like this big diva. Okay. Like, no, big. 
What? Okay, all, I, I have beef with Alex Stein because he's literally like thrift store wannabe Laura Loomer. He's like a dollar <laughs> store Laura Loomer. So he yeah. he's going to go confront people, and he's not even good at it. Like he's In dollar store baked to, Alaska. Like he has these songs be, that are terrible. Yeah. yeah, he's trying to be dollar store Laura Loomer. So anyway, <laughs> continue. Sorry about okay, that. Okay, so, so, so then me and... Me and Pot Awful, we decide to, you know, dedicate most of the show to like shitting on Alex, you know, because he, he was a dick to both of us and to other people. And we go through some stuff. And, um, anyways, so I did that. And then I'm like, whatever, I'm going to move on. You know, I don't, I don't really care. I don't hate the guy. But, um, then the, the, it was later that night, my phone starts blowing up on Telegram getting messages from Alex. And I, I'm going to say this because, now I'm a little unsure if these are real or not. I don't know. Like it, it's an account that said, I don't even know how someone would have my personal telegram. I mean, I'm sure they could find, uh, look it up or ask someone, but it said Alex Stein or sorry. It said primetime 99 Alex Stein. And it had like his profile picture. So maybe I got scammed. I don't know. But this account hit me up. I thought it was Alex. And he was like, yeah, you were right. And I was like, right about what? He's like, I heard what you said on the show. Like, um, and he said it in a way that like was admitting it, but not really admitting it. And I was like, okay, so, you know, congrats, you're a home wrecker. And he's like, well, you know, she didn't look that good, but she's, she's a freak in bed. So I don't know. It sounded like Alex to me. I thought it was Alex, but that's why, but here's the thing. Alex Stein has been ghosting me for weeks. So it's like, you know, maybe if he didn't screw me over and ghost me, he could, you know, be here and speak up and just say, oh, that wasn't me. It could be an op. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But anyways, and then the next thing that happened. Okay, but big, like you have Alex's number. So it is. Right? So yeah. Yeah, there is doubt there, though, is what you're saying. So no, you I, I, I do. I do have Alex's. The, okay, I do have Alex's so go, number. Yes. So go to the Telegram message that you. Oh, she dropped from she, Alex talking about sleeping, sleeping with them and click on hmm. the. Click on the setting section that shows his um, his handle, and if the number matches, then it's him. Because if you have somebody's phone number saved in, even if it's an alt account, it will show you. Let me see if he pops in on it didn't, show, it didn't show a phone number, so I don't know. I mean, it could have been fake. I mean, regardless, though, MTG has admitted to sleeping with several people in her marriage, and that's why she's getting a divorce. So, I mean, that, that doesn't really change anything for me. MTG is a whore, regardless. Um, but, you know, with all transparency, that's what happened. So, oh, but then the last part of that is, so I sent it to Jesse and I said, dude, this is crazy. But I specifically said, do not put this out because I do not, um, I don't share text messages. Even if it's someone I don't like, I, uh, will not share those text messages. And he put it out and was like, "Ah!" and so that's why I, I blocked Jesse and I'm not, you know, speaking with him anymore. Uh, cause he lied to me, but anyways, I don't know. By the way, I'm looking at his, uh, telegram here and it's a different picture on the one I'm looking at and it's, it's a different, I won't read out the, um, okay, here, let me, let me send you the, the screenshots, the show, but Ralph, so. um, on your telegram, you can compare it. Maybe, maybe I got gay op. So, and you, I mean, I, to be fair, I've got two different telegram accounts. Yeah. Too. yeah, No, like that's a, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't necessarily just, disp- yes, you're right. For sure. I um, mean, I would love to yeah, hear from Alex. Cool. People have multiple accounts. I have multiple yeah, accounts, yeah. so that's true. Like, yeah. True, yeah. Uh, but I know he did want to talk about it. Um, maybe I'll message him and see if he could pop on now. Yeah, but, like, uh, you know yeah. how many people have accused, like, people of having sex with people? It's like, if it's not true, then just ignore it. Like, the fact that he's, like, so eager to talk about it and the fact that he'd be like, oh, but I would. It's like, he's literally the white O.J. Simpson. I didn't do it, but I would if I could. <laughs> well, okay, He here's... Although it could have been a gay op, here's the reason why I think it might have been Alex. Because if these were fake text messages, why wouldn't Alex call me and be like, Baked, those were fake. Take those down. And I'd be like, oh, okay. And he never called me. He never texted me. He okay. just goes on Tim Pool and says that. So I don't know. It, it might be real. Okay, let's see. But uh, yeah, check your telegram. I sent you the account. So, let's see. I told him I could call. He said send him a join link. Uh, I wonder, I can... Are you having Alex Stein join this? Yeah. Oh, boy, fun. We'll just send him the telegram, because then we can see his account. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right, let me send it to him. To dot me slash the Ralph retort. 
Okay. All right, let's see if he can call in Telegram. And look, I don't I don't even care if he had sex with Marjorie. Like, I don't care. We all know she's a whore and that her husband divorced her. And, and we already know that she's had scandals before with people accusing her of, like, cheating on her husband. That's I'm not here to be, like, morality police. I'm just saying she's a whore. And, like, you know, this whole idea that she's the face of Christian nationalism, she's not. Like, Christian women don't go spreading their legs for everything that walks. And so she's also been accused of having an affair with the guy from RSBN. So... It's, I'm just reporting what I what what the news is, and I was watching Bake's show, and I saw the stream, and I reported what Bake said. So you can get Alex on, but at the end of the day, he interviewed Nick, so he should be ex- he should be wanting to expose Marjorie Trader Green for the liar that she is. Well, he wanted to come on. Well, it wasn't necessarily my idea. Go ahead, Beardson. Well, I mean, I don't know. I I just I personally got sort of a problem with him too because of the things that he said on Tim Pool's show the other day about Yay and about Nick and everybody else. I thought it was very cowardly the the way that he behaved on there. I mean, that's that's really my beef. Uh, you know, it's like uh, this this sort of stuff. It's like I don't know if it's real or not. I mean, I I would believe it if it's true. You know what I mean? Um, but I just got beef with this guy because he's got beef with Yay, and he's, he seems to got beef with Nick because he wants to go on Tim Pool's show and call everybody crazy and they're bad. But I guess you know when you're bought and sold by yeah. Blaze Incorporated, that's what you're. There's your Alex Stein. Wait, he's here. <laughs> Hold on, Alex. What's up, man? You got to unmute yourself though, on Telegram. Okay, well, so I'm walking into the Dallas Cowboys game. I see Beerson's hating on me, and I just want to you know set the record straight. I have no beef with Laura. I have no beef with Baker. No beef with Beerson, but. Uh, it's just provably false that I had a sexual relationship with Marjorie Taylor Greene. And to be honest, I think the rumor is hilarious. Like, for me, for that rumor to go viral, it only benefits me as a comedian. I don't have any sort of, you know, political But how is it provably false? How is it provably false? We know she spreads her legs for everything that moves. Like, can you just tell us how it's provably Because false? I would admit it if I banged her, Laura. I'm probably not <laughs> <laughs> What do you think I am? I'm not you. I mean, I would admit to people that I fuck these girls. It, see, there's a double standard. I mean, a okay. guy that bangs a lot of girls is a coxman. A girl that gets banged by a lot of guys is a slut. I'm just saying, it doesn't hurt me to say that I bang a famous congresswoman. So I would admit that, but that's not the case. I wish it was. I wish I did bang her. I wish I had a selfie. I wish I could go triple viral. But that's not the God's well, honest truth. And if it was, I guarantee you I would have a picture of her buttocks, of yeah. me and doggy style, something to put in the <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, I, I don't think it'd be that hard to to make happen. Like if you actually wanted to, like I no, I probably could. You. I probably could, Laura. You, probably could. And you too. There's a lot of girls I could probably bang, but that doesn't no. mean that I did. So you're not my that's type. What I'm just saying. You're not my type. Wait. So for the record, Alex, you have not been texting me from Telegram. That's a fake account. No, that's not even my Telegram account. Hey, you idiot. Why didn't you hit me up? You faggot. <laughs> Why because didn't you? I don't me? care because, guys, I like this. You guys don't no, realize you're too much of a you're too much of a deal. No, you can't even communicate. No, with wait, people. let him talk. Let him talk. Go ahead. Go ahead, Alex. What I'm saying is, I don't use Telegram like this. And for everybody that's listening on the chat, guys, I love this rumor. I talked to my Marjorie reached out. I told her, "Hey, this benefits me as a comedian." I apologize, and I even I even you know tried to set the record straight. My point being is, guys, if it happened, I would admit it, whether you want to take my word for it or not. That's the God's honest truth, and it didn't happen. So I don't. I'm walking. That's why I'm out of breath. I don't have any beef with Baked or Laura, but I just would like to set the record straight on that uh, occurrence. And then, Beerson, you were saying something about Nick. What was that? Oh, I just didn't like the, the way that you were calling Yay crazy on, on Tim Pool the other day. I thought that was really messed up. Well, I thought that I kind of defended Nick, and I, I put a picture of him and Kanye's face behind me that weren't, was not on the wall before. But my point is, is I think you could – Describe Kanye as crazy. I'm crazy. Laura's crazy. Ethan's. I mean, that's a very vague <laughs> term. That's a so, cop. That's a cop out, dude. Come on. So you don't think that he's acting erratic or a little unusual? I think he's. Uh, no, I don't. I think for. I mean, he's always. This so is like the, the same behavior you know, that he's exhibiting. This is the guy that stormed the stage like with Taylor Swift. No. Oh, Pearson, whether you like it or not, I understand that. Whether you like it or not, there's nowhere. What? Did you cut out? I don't think he cut out. Okay, let's see. It's because he's got to defend his own, you know, his own tribe, no. his own people. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> now we'll, uh, we can hear you. Now you're back, you're back. Go ahead. Sorry, cut out. Sorry, they're calling me on my phone. No, it's not even that. I'm not even trying to defend him. I'm just saying. No, I'm not even. I'm not even trying to defend him. I'm just saying. Guys, you know that. Anybody with half a brain realizes that that's one of the fastest ways to get canceled. So if he wants to get canceled, I hope he's smart like a fox. I love Kanye. I'm on Team Kanye. I just don't think he's going to get his message across saying that. 
I just I disagree and and like I, no offense I think it's working okay. like you know what I mean and that's and like I, I don't have like a big beef with you by the way it's just like I I, yeah, I heard I that I was like it's kind of messed up you know well I don't so, have any beef and I think on on Tim yeah, Pool, I, I talked about how I wanted with you either honest. I just want to say like I don't really have a beef with you either I mean I uh, you well but do you want to talk about me Laura because it gives you first to go. No, but it gives you some attention. It gives you some relevancy. I'm saying you like it because you like to, you know, it's like me. You're a, you're a troll. You're trolling me because I'm somebody. No, I'm actually, troll. I'm not a troll. Actually, I'm actually like a professional, like you know, investigative journalist and congressional candidate. And I actually um, have been doing what you claim to be doing much longer than you have. So actually, I don't. Well, need congratulations. To... Good for you. Oh my gosh, here's an award. I mean, I don't what is to... this? This isn't. I'm not in competition with you, Laura. I know you. She compares. Well, it's comparison not, it's not is the thief of joy. You're saying, I, you're saying I need to talk about you to be relevant. Like, I don't need to talk about you to be relevant. I'm more relevant. Well, then why in your telegram are you talking about me so much? Then? I'm not. I forwarded a video where Base was talking about you, and I'm talking about Marjorie. So you are talking her. about me. She's so excited. you are talking about me because you want to create relevant content for yourself. Is that a miss? A diagnosis of what Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Everybody, shut the fuck up. Content. It's on. Shut the it's fuck up. Hold on. What? Alex, don't you have an interview? With you and Josh Cash with booked with Yay? Yeah, suppose canceled, yeah, canceled. You're my buddy, but canceled, motherfucker. Now wait. why would I cancel oh, that? Why why were you calling Yay crazy? I missed this. This is Ollie Alexander right now. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah, no, I'm saying, but I'm not you guys are saying I say I'm crazy. That's not to say somebody's crazy, it's not like this negative thing that you got. I mean I think you gotta be crazy to be Fine, okay. Well if it's not a negative thing, you need to do a motherfucking video on your telegram. A hostage style video apologizing and saying, Hey, that's not crazy. He's a viable candidate. And uh, that's that's what keeps your interview slot. First of all, I understand what you're saying. I didn't say anything about his candidacy. And first of all, I love Kanye West. I'm on team Kanye West. But to, to say that that wasn't a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, 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 one second. Ollie, Why are you take it off. His slave name? Ollie, take it, uh, take it off a uh, speakerphone if you can. Put it on regular. Right, hold on, hold on. Let me put, let me put some headphones in it. Yeah, because it's, it's too By much. By the way, I love, I love Alex Stein. I love Alex Stein, but I love Yay more. Yeah, no, he's, like, hey, he's way Alex. more badass than I'll ever be. Alex, yes. I don't have I don't have beef with you, first of all. So you know, it's just understand. We're about to have beef, Laura. I know there's a lot of sexual tension in the chat. I can just tell by the sound of your voice. Are you Jewish? <laughs> Are you, are you single? I'm not Jewish, but are, are you single? Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I was never. Yes, I was never. I'm not a real Jew. Jew. Yes. I'm not. But we, 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 call, we call this the reverse Leibowitz wow. maneuver, actually. You give you give yourself a Jewish stage name. What do you mean? Your name is Stein. All right. Yes, but my grandfather <laughs> didn't raise my dad. And the way you're supposed to be Jewish is if your mom's Jewish. So I was not raised in a Jewish family. I was baptized. I was raised a Christian. That's just, I mean, that's the God's honest truth. Whether you want to yeah, but you're an God. atheist now, so it doesn't matter. I'm an atheist by any means. Yeah, I believe I in just, God. I what are you talking wanna, about? I just want to. Alex, just you need to find Jesus Christ. All right, now we you need. That's Alex what you really need. need. Find God. Jesus Christ. Well, it's funny because I was baptized and I do believe in Jesus Christ, but it's just well, funny. It's come back home, buddy. No, no, it's hypocritical, judgmental uh, Christians like you that ruin Christianity, that make it seem like an asshole. Oh, You're wait. wait how am I judgmental yeah, saying you need to come back to God? No, because because you don't even live in that faith. You act like you're some big Christian. When wow, you you're calling me a fake Christian? Fuck you. Yeah. Okay, you faggot. Yeah, okay, you, you, you dress in swimsuits ne next to little girls, and you're a fucking atheist. Shut the fuck up. Oh, okay, good one. And you're good sipping for oh, MTG, oh. who literally cheats on her husband and destroys fa her family. But, you know, that's cool. Keep simping for her. And I'm MTG because I'm friendly with MTG. See, that's the thing is, I'm You're friendly with whoever. For. Yeah, we heard it. We heard it. I don't, don't, don't no, no, align 100% with somebody's ideologies to be friend with, yeah. friends with them. I'm yeah, not keep a getting those like chicks from Glenn Beck, You're about bitch. to go to jail in Arizona for macing somebody. You're a wow. loser about to be an ex-convict. Wow. And I'll be writing you notes. You're in jail now. You want to play this game? I'm going to jail for January. When you're in jail in Arizona, I'll be writing you love notes. So have fun with your cellmate. You're going to have so much fun. Wow. Guys, that's Leroy. Is your cellmate is going to have so much fun with Jenny you. Oh, oh, hey, on air. When John Fuck Terry you. gets you, Fuck when John Terry you. gets your little snack, Oh, he's going to love you. Oh, give me, give me, give me a quickie from here. the commissary, Banks. Aren't I mean, you the guy that's going to pepper for a girl? Real character. 
Hey, keep making fun of a January 6th victim, you piece of shit. I better You're never going hear you. You're going to Arizona for macing somebody, you liar. No, you make no. somebody. You assaulted somebody, you retard. That's why you're going wow. to jail in Arizona. Oh, Alex said he wasn't mad. Wow. The truth comes out. Alex is seething. I'm not mad. I'm just saying yeah, you, you, you made some guy in Arizona, and that's why you're going to jail for assault. So yeah, yeah, everybody I, thought. I, we put it here on the you fucking new fag. You don't know anything about this shit. You piece Are of you shit. You coming here as a fucking diva? Think you're cooler because you work for Glenn fucking Beck, you faggot? Okay, well, have fun in jail. I'll be working for Glenn Beck while you're in jail. I'll make yeah, sure to, I'll give you the blaze address. Keep seething, I'll put buddy. Some money on your Keep seething, buddy. You. Keep seething, buddy. I'm not seething. I yes, really you hope are. you have a safe and pleasant uh, you're going to jail. Uh, incarceration. I'm- I'm going to jail for January 6th. That's my next you're going thing to coming jail up. You're for Arizona, and you're a oh, fed, and you know you're a fed, and all you do is shit on people. So no. You're a fed, no. and you don't know it. Oh, no, you're fed. done. You're done. No, There's fed. the Jewish tactics. There's the Jewish tactics. Alex is a liar proven on the kill stream. You're a fed. So Why are you so triggered? Viewers. Why are you he so triggered? He says I'm a fed. He came in here and Why said he has no issues with me. You're a faggot, dude. You will always be a Jewish faggot. Shut the fuck up. Nobody likes you. Go suck Glenn Beck. Talk. I will. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, me and Glenn talk. are going to go have fun in the spa. I'll send you some money on your commissary so you can get some tweets yeah. for you and the Have fun in, in jail. You're making fun of January 6th victims, buddy. Yeah, I want to hear. Wait, wait. Cool I just want to say that I am beefing with Alex Stein officially, but only for clout. I have nothing against uh, you. And now, uh, now, did he? And Alex Stein's such a passive aggressive fuck that he comes in here. Oh, I got no problems with Bake. I got no problems with Loomer. Yeah, he clearly does. Cause at least me and Loomer can fucking say it, and he's a little passive aggressive bitch. So I feel very <laughs> conflicted right now. I like Alex Stein a lot. You know, we text a lot. But how, how do you feel about him uh, making fun of the January six victims? No, that was, That's fucked up. That was that was like super weird. Like like Alex Stein is like he just called me a fed. <laughs> what I exposed Ray Ray Epps, you idiot. Yeah, you're clearly not fed. We've talked about this before. And look, but if somebody can send me the clip, if he called Yay crazy on Tim Pool's cast, then I'm canceling his interview with Yay. So. Yeah, he did. He did. I saw the clip live. He did. Yeah, someone sent it. I think, uh, I think I've got it all. I can afford it to you. Thank you. Unacceptable. Well, you well, never you know what's going to happen on the kill stream. Time, so. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.